Recent racist posts on social media have caused an uproar at American University. The social media app Yik Yak lets people in a certain area post anonymous comments. But posts by people claiming to be American University students has provoked a strong backlash. One commenter says, quote, it's obviously racist, but I really don't like 99% of the black people at I meet. At least I'm being honest, end quote. Here to discuss this, we have two guests. Caroline DeLeon is the coordinator for multi multicultural and first generation programming at AU Center for Diversity and Inclusion. We also have Sydney Young, the freshman liaison for AU's Black Student Alliance. So welcome to both of you. Thank you. Um, so Caroline, uh, can, you, can you start by just giving us some background? What, what is Yik Yak? So Yik Yak, from my understanding, is an anonymous platform, um, part of the social media umbrella that um, allows folks to anonymous, anonymously post online um, just within a 10 mile radius or vicinity, um, ranging from a host of different types of comments. Mm -hmm. And how, what was, what's in your role, what was your uh, reaction what to these types of comments? Yeah, so um, in, in our initial kind of overview of social media, um, I personally am not on Yik Yak, and so when I was on Facebook, because the center does have a couple of platforms through Facebook, um, I saw that a couple of students were kind of reposting some of the screenshots that they had taken. Um, so when I saw that, I brought that to the Office of Campus Life's uh, attention just to kind of note that this is something that our students were clearly visibly um, you know, upset about, so to put that on our radar as something that we need to address. Uh, let me point out that uh, this morning, uh, American University came out with a statement. Uh, Gail Short Hansen, Vice President of Campus Life, says the AU community is deeply offended by recent anonymous racist posts on Yik Yak. Uh, she went on to say it cannot be stated strongly enough that these posts stand in stark contrast to American University's core values of respect for human dignity and appreciation for diverse cultures and viewpoints. Um, and let me ask you, Sydney Young um, of the Black Student Alliance, what was, uh, what was your reaction to these types of comments? Was it something that you expected or, or you think, um, do you see these attitudes hidden under the surface and this social media is just you know, an anonymous way to bring it out, what people might not say in public? Well, <coughs> it's clear that we do not live in a post-racial society with recent events with the SAE fraternity and things like that. Um, no one wants to say that they expect people to put them under attack for the color of their skin. I don't want to say that I expect that to happen to me. But um, personally, I was not shocked because when people have that cloak of anonymity, they tend to be bold with what they say because they know that they will not catch the consequence of saying such things. As if we would, were, if like, in the instance we were to know who was saying it, it would be a different consequence because, oh, this person is racist. Now we can address this person. But now when it's a group of people who are mysterious, we don't know who they are, it's like intimidating in my opinion because like it could be someone, I don't know, someone right next to me and I wouldn't know how they feel about me so I guess with um, Yik Yak it's um, easier for them. So. One thing uh, I found interesting about this was that uh, once uh, a AU student posted these comments to Twitter, it received thousands of replies and generated a lot of attention. So uh, in terms of social media, and, and we're talking about um, going back to the incident in Oklahoma last week, is social media and, and you know, this of everything on video, it seems like people are, holding, people are getting held accountable more often that may, may have gone undetected in the past. Is that your sense, or, or is it just more, there's just more information out there? I think it's both. There is more information out there, and I think our generation is becoming more inspired to hold people accountable, because we are supposed to be a post racial society. We're not, but we're working towards that. And in order for that to happen, we have to take action for these behaviors that we see. If we allow them to continue, nothing is going to change. So I think it's both the information making it accessible and our, our will to make the world a better place, generally. Uh, Caroline, let me bring it back to you. Um, we know the um, university is going to have a forum, uh, some types of discussions uh, later this week. Uh, what types of uh, interactions does the center uh, work on? What is the goal 
and, and how does that you know, combat these types of attitudes? Definitely, yeah, so Thursday at 8 o'clock, 8.15, in Ward 5, we're gonna be having a forum where we're gonna be creating a space for folks on campus who wanna talk about what is happening, especially with Yik Yak. Um, so being able to give them that space to be able to confront um, some of the things that were said, uh, dialogue with one another, and also talk to administration about ways that we can best support our students and our campus and make sure that we have an inclusive community. Um, the center does a host of different things as well. We have different workshops that we have, um, like creating inclusive communities, um, unmasking your privilege. So we have a host of different things that we do to combat that. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of um, uh, activity going on, a lot of discussion uh, a, at AU. Um, I want to thank both of you for joining us. Uh, Caroline uh, DeLeon, uh, coordinator for multicultural and first generation programming at the Center for Diversity and Inclusion, and Sydney Young, freshman liaison for the Black Student Alliance. Thank you to you both. Thank you. Yeah. Coming up, drinking coffee can give you more than just energy. Later, we'll look at a new study that says coffee is good for your heart. Today, they're finding freezing